Hello, it's Anna here from Paper Craft Create and welcome to my channel. Today's video is part of a collaboration hop with Kendra's Card Challenge 13 and one of the super sponsors, Colorado Craft Company. I will be using this beautiful stamp set called Amazing Mum, which has a beautiful illustration from Anita Jerem and some wonderful sentiments. It is um, Mother's Day related, however, there's some other great, fantastic sentiments which are all wonderful um, to recognize those amazing mums in our life. Now today I will be in fact using um, one card sketch here, number eight, as my inspiration. I will be turning it into a little bit of a fun fold and also turning it into a five by seven size card. So these sketches are more than just the challenge itself. However, if you haven't in fact joined in on the challenge and you'd like to give it a go, there's information in the description box below of how you can enter and how you can download the free PDF that's provided with the card sketches and the cutting templates as well. Now we are nearing the end of this challenge, uh, the 31st of March. So I urge you to all get in there and get some crafting done and be in the running to perhaps win something from Colorado Craft Company or in fact some of our other wonderful prize sponsors. So without further ado, I will uh, move on to putting this card together. I'll be starting by making the card base which measures 10 inches by 7 inches and then scored at 5 inches on the 10 inch side. Now I'll be cutting out an L shaped chunk from the front of the card. So I'll be measuring in one and a quarter from the left hand side in and then one and a quarter up from the bottom. Using my trimmer or a pair of scissors just on these markings you'll cut there. So on the side piece you will in fact only be cutting up to the score line and um, in from the left hand side. This will create an L shaped chunk from the front of the card. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is with this beautiful stamp uh, image I will be actually just embossing it in white and putting it on some craft coloured cardstock. Um, I just thought you know lots of times I use Copic markers or watercolour or do all sorts of different things but I thought I just uh, the image is just so gorgeous on its own I really just wanted to highlight it and just do something a little bit different. So what I'm doing here is uh, heat embossing in white. Um, so I in fact did put some static powder on and then I um, am now just putting on the, um, the Versamark ink which will hold my embossing powder. So I will be using this white embossing powder and you'll see me putting that on there now. Now if you haven't used um, embossing heat embossing in your projects before and would like to give it a go um, it can be quite daunting but just a few little tips that always help with getting a nice crisp image particularly when using white on a darker color because every little bit shows up is just to really is to use like a static um, powder of some sort or even um, just even a baby powder or something just to wipe over the top um, and no fingerprints. Anytime you put a fingerprint on, that will definitely not help you. Um, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with this vertical sentiment, there is the word mother that sits in amongst all of these um, gorgeous, wonderful words about mums. <laughs> um, so I've decided to do that in a different colour. Um, so I've just put that through separately and I will in fact emboss that one there in a nice pink colour which will match my pattern papers. Um, I just love the way this white embossing looks on the craft cardstock and it's you know just something a little different. Um, of course you could colour it in even with the white embossing but I just loved it so much I thought I would just leave it. Um, sometimes I like to go overboard but in time you know sometimes I just like to keep things a little bit more simple. This brown paper I'm using is actually a coffee filter. I find them really helpful to um, collect all your um, dust so that you don't make a big mess. Um, so I just used a little bit of a brush there just to um, a dry brush just to brush away any little flickers. Uh, now I'm also going to emboss another sentiment which does say Happy Mother's Day which will run across the bottom on one of the pattern papers. Now this is just a solid pattern paper, um, a part of the uh, pattern 
paper book that I'm using um, which I just thought just to add a little bit of something extra just a nice sentiment of oh, happy Mother's Day um, it's just beautiful script so I thought I'd add that on as well uh, so I'm just doing that in the white once again um, and I just love the way the white just comes up on all these really bright colors they really do um, it really does sort of pop off the page so referring back to card sketch number eight, I have changed the orientation slightly and I've um, made it landscape instead of portrait and I have moved the side piece to the left instead of the right. Um, and my pattern papers will in fact be sitting on the inside of the card with the stamped image being the front of the card and the focal point of this card. Just adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of fun, just something a little bit different. Um, I will mat it with some gold foil as you can see. Now just with this card, obviously because the front is shorter, it won't be able to stand up if you want to display it. However, you can put um, underneath that front bit, you could just put some acetate so that you would still see the pattern papers um, and then it would also help it to stand. Um, I would just suggest that if you did use acetate, that on the inside behind this you might want to just um, put uh, some paper or some pattern paper or something there um, just because when you glue it obviously you will see it um, but it, you know that will certainly create another little bit of extra interest as well so just using some fairly understated um, pattern papers so just a diagonal stripe pink and then the solid pink that will in fact have um, my embossed sentiment on there as well I'll um, use a couple of little hearts as some embellishments next to my sentiment there uh, just to add you know, a little bit of interest. As mentioned earlier, this is part of a hop and a giveaway. So I urge you to watch all the videos. Um, there is a playlist link below in the description box which conveniently has all the videos together. And once you've watched them all, you can go into the running for a digital prize from Cards by Kendra. Just fill out the form by the 22nd of March once you've watched the videos. Thank you Colorado Craft for being a wonderful prize sponsor and um, helping us out with the challenge. And thank you to all my viewers. I hope you enjoy this and until next time, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.